I want to talk a little bit about what's happened in North Carolina <laughs> this week. And I thought, I'd, you know, because it's a tough topic, I thought I'd do it with, with Maddie on my lap. But yeah, yeah, thanks, Maddie. Thanks, Maddie. You're, you're making me lose my concentration here. Well, I could go into the, the you know, white supremacy, um, you know, black hating and the the history of that but I've kind I've kind of did that before and everybody's doing that right now so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna concentrate on the on the um, confederate flag at this point because they the arguments for having it up are that it's you know part of their heritage part part of like southern heritage part of the culture that honors those who fought for those people, but then, then why was the 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 flag that's known as the Confederate flag right now um, was first put up at the South Carolina Capitol in 1961 after after Brown versus Board of Education? This, this was not a Southern pride thing at the time. It was a fu to the Civil Rights Movement at the time. <laughs> if you accept the premise that that it's on, that it's only there. It's not about you know slavery. It's not about you know white superiority or supremacy. Um, it's just about the soldier. Then why wouldn't we have Nazi Germany flags? in Germany to honor those who, who fought and died in that war on that side. It's it's only in this one particular case and it doesn't go back to to the Civil War. It goes back to the sixties during the Civil Rights Movement. I can't think of a single reason why to keep it up that isn't racist. It and and that flag and symbolism does hurt and affect African Americans. See, Maddie agrees, and and can you can you argue with that face? Well, what do you think about the Confederate flag? <sighs> well. No, don't get a dark, get a dark. Ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>